In the first time in what seems like forever, the Iowa football team was able to close out a close game and get a win against a ranked opponent. The ITV director, Jonathan Rawson, has more on how the Hawks were able to break the mold against the Golden Gophers. When Minnesota got the ball back, down by four with under two to play, Iowa fans got deja vu, and not the good kind. This time, A.J. Epinesa and the Hawkeye defense had an alternate ending in mind. It's just, we, we practice for moments like this. I, I was telling the D-line before we headed out in the field, and it's on us. It's on the defense, and this is what we want. We want it on our shoulders. We're confident in our ability. Um, we prepared for this. This is what we do. This is a big-time moment, and we're big-time players, and we're here to make plays. And thanks to that stellar final defensive drive, the Hawkeyes were able to bring Floyd to the locker room, even though he was a little heavier than they thought. One of our guys did a report on that and uh, reported weight of the Floyd is 100 pounds. I think Tristan Orse would uh, dispute that. Uh, he, was, he was claiming it's a little bit heavier. He was the guy who brought it in. So great to have Floyd in the locker room with us and pictures and all those kinds of things. So just all in all, really happy for our players and very, very proud of what they did tonight. But with how rocky this season has been, this one means a little bit more to Coach Ferentz. As high as those highs are, the lows can be really low too. And uh, But, you know, to be out there when the clock's running down in Kinnick Stadium, that's a, that's a pretty good feeling. So I'm, I'm just happy this, this team, this 19 team, got to experience one of those. The 2019 team will take the field at Kinnick for the final time on Saturday when they host the Fighting Illini for Senior Day. Reporting from Kinnick Stadium, John Ross, DI, TV Sports. Like John said, Saturday will be Senior Day for the Hawks, and you can expect it to be an emotional one. Now, while one season is ending, another one is just beginning. That's right, Tanner. Although it is early in the Hawkeye women's basketball season, some players are standing out. One player in particular is making her mark early. The Hawkeyes are 2-1 and one so far this season, and going forward, it is clear sophomore center Monica Sanano has a major role in the team. Monica Sanano has had to step in and be the Hawkeye enforcer on both sides of the basketball. On offense, she's doing it efficiently, and on defense, she's really making her presence felt. Even though she's starting the season good individually, her mind is still on one thing. Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't really think about <laughs> that at all. Like, it's just looking at the score, the total score, and just seeing like what we can do as a team, how I can contribute, um, and it's just we all want to win. So it's doing whatever it takes to win. Averaging around 13 points on over 84% shooting along with four rebounds, it is clear that the work put in over the summer is paying off. I'm just so proud of Monica for really seizing the moment and she's one of the hardest workers that I've experienced just like Megan was. So she has so much potential so I'm just really proud of her and excited that she got to show people what she can do too. We may only be three games in right now, but you should look forward to seeing lots of Monica Sonano this season. Iowa will look for Sonano to stay consistent tonight when they match up against the Princeton Tigers. And sticking with women's sports and cover, the Iowa volleyball team is season is nearing the end, and there's been a lot of ups and downs for this team. But with more on their season, we have DITV reporter Maddie McCarran live in the newsroom to tell us more. Maddie, can you talk about Iowa's close game on Saturday against the Huskers? Yeah, Dallas. They almost had this one. They took the Huskers to five sets. And even in the first set, Iowa was up by seven points, but ended up handing the set back to Nebraska. And what I think made the biggest difference was that they switched up their lineup to run a 6-2 with freshman Emma Lowe's and Courtney Bezzario both setting. This allowed Bezzario, Bezzario to also take more swings to tally up some, point, some points for the Hawks. Actually, Bezzario hit her first career triple-double in that game. This is the first Hawkeye in the volleyball program to hit that mark since 2005. With there only being a few games left, what is on the horizon for the team? They'll actually travel to Wisconsin this weekend and also Minnesota, and their last two home games will be next week against Maryland and Ohio State. Thanks, Maddie. The Hawks aren't likely to make the NCAA tournament this year, but they have a lot of young talent to be on the lookout for next season. Well, that is all we have for you in the sports studio today. But tune in tomorrow to hear from Iowa football as they prepare for their last home game of the season.